Scentland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome everybody, Chris back with yet another fragrance review coming to you from this very familiar, cozy, good old setting here. And this location usually requires a great stylish high-end fragrance to be reviewed and that's very much the case today, I can assure you already. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, Madame et Messieurs, open up center stage for... Yes, Chanel pour Monsieur, Eau de Parfum. Released in 2016, the nose, the parfumeur behind this fragrance is Monsieur Jacques Polch. And there is a story that I have to tell in regards to this fragrance in regards to its history. Um, and that is that, and I have reviewed the original version that has been released in 1955, Chanel pour Monsieur. Okay, that's a great citrus oak moss, classy fragrance, still around today. One of the all time classics in fragrance history. Okay, and then came the year of 1989 when Chanel released a flanker um, called Chanel pour Monsieur. Au concentré, so the concentrated version. That was in 1989 and Jacques Polge was the parfumeur for that fragrance. And it came in a, an extremely similar bottle, obviously uh, Au Concentré being big written up there and, and not uh, Eau de Parfum, like here. And, but the rest is very much the same. And I understand from my research that the fragrance itself is almost exactly the same as this Concentré version released in 1989, okay? So this is basically a re-release, renaming it, um, not Concentré anymore, but Eau de Parfum, Chanel pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum, again the year 2016, and still very much the same Jacques Polge creation as the 1989 Eau Concentré, at least from what I understand, I've never smelled the concentré. I did smell, obviously, and review the, the 1955 Pour Monsieur Chanel, um, which only bears um, very, very few um, similarities to this one. And I'm gonna tell you how and why. First of all, uh, the, the bottle, classy Chanel bottle, um, high, high, end to, uh, high quality to no end, um, in every aspect, especially the sprayer. If you look at the sprayer, it's, it's an atomic bomb sprayer, right? Uh, it's huge and a terrific fragrance and performance. I'm going to come to that. So where are the similarities with the, with the 1955 one, if there are at all? There are, but just very faint, because this starts off with a very, very nice, um, classy lemon citrus uh, note that Straight away, straight away gives it a very French, um, very sophisticated and, and very stylish kind of vibe going on, straight away. And then this pairs up with a great and still very much classy lavender. So these two create an immediate freshness and, and a classy backbone to the fragrance where the development of this fragrance starts. And then, we see a very nice nutmeg, a very natural smelling nutmeg appearing here as well, along with a very delicate, never too sweet and never too pushy vanilla. And a slight hint of vetiver um, gives it a sort of woody, um, bit of probably green touch but never smoky or never really rooty or, 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 or the, the vetiver is very withheld in this fragrance, just, just helps the other, uh, other notes that I've mentioned to shine, the, the citrus, the lavender, um, the nutmeg and the vanilla. So, so it's all about these five um, notes, these five components in this fragrance that, that are, are conducting um, their, 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 their way of appearance in a, in a very stylish, again, very French, uplifting, bright, um, charming manner. I would call this fragrance even, 
even uh, humorous, you know, when, when the fragrance is not taking itself too seriously, um, but it's at, at a very high level when it does so. So it does not have any impact on its overall performance or indeed the quality of the ingredients, which is all top notch here with Chanel. Well, it's a Chanel, okay? Um, and it has a nice development as well. The, 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 the initial citrus and lavender take one or two steps back and let the, the, the nutmeg and the vanilla come to the forefront um, and, and continue this wonderful, um, still very classy, still very uplifting, very humorous, like you know, a little twinkle of the eye, um, very charming and very French um, vibe and, and sophistication and smell and impression um, that you will get from this fragrance, both you as a wearer and anybody who is smelling this coming directly to, uh, to the syllogism and, and projection, okay? Um, I do three, four, maximum five sprays of this um, and it's well enough throughout the day, so longevity is there. I do probably two underneath the shirt, one on the back of the head and two on the pulse points and that's it, you know? With that, the performance is there, you're gonna get it throughout the entire day. Again, not a question. Um, okay, it's an older parfum, but still, we've seen many older parfums to around today that disappear within three, four hours, okay? Okay, give me a break, it's true. Overpriced and all that. Niche and designer alike, okay? So uh, the name, the, simply the name older parfum, parfum is not a guarantee for longevity at all, uh, and even not a guarantee for projection and silage. But, but Chanel is not a question because it's Chanel, okay? That's why you always also pray, uh, pay a high price. And this is also why Chanel never gets on the lower uh, shelves in any shop, okay? It's always on the top shelf. C'est la vie, huh? C'est Chanel, huh? Um, it's, it's just, it's just uh, lingering in a, in a constant way. It, it, it has a fairly constant performance. It's, it's, um, the development is there, but the, the performance is constant. It, it's, it, it, it is consistently there. It, it's not one of those fragrances that disappear and then come back, and that's how their longevity works. That, you know, this is, this is there on a constant basis. It's, it's a true eau de parfum, which means the, the, the higher concentration is really felt in this. Um, and the trick that you, that you can do in order to sort of play with the, the overall development of the, of the fragrance is that, as I mentioned, some beneath the shirt, with your body heat, with your skin chemistry, it is going to develop in a different direction than uh, on your hair, on, on the back of your hair, for example. It's, but it's, it's joy. Um, I, I, what I feel with, with on, on fabric, clothing, or back of, or, or hair, on, on the back of your head, is the citrus is staying longer. While on skin, the citrus disappears rather quickly and the nutmeg and the vanilla shine more, okay? But you can, as I say, with different points of application, you can play with that, okay? It's your choice. Um, it's a great signature material fragrance here, definitely. It does not have any, any particular... Um, Seasons probably in the high heat of the summer. It's not really the best to use here Although it's refreshing bright and uplifting, but it has due to the nutmeg and the van vanilla It has a spiciness a warmth uh, That is not the best to be used in probably this high heat of the summer, but summer evening definitely great for work great for business meeting to, to create a, a, a stylish and classy uh, appearance, but also great for a romantic dinner or going to the opera or, or, or anything like this, uh, which again, hopefully, will be happening soon again. You know, uh, it's January 2021, so we are still very much uh, being, uh, you know, taken hostage by the virus. But I hope that will end. And, and fragrances like Chanel pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum have the opportunity to shine again and to please the wearer and indeed please the audience, okay? Let's hope for that. And one more thing, very important here. Chanel is not a designer. Chanel is Chanel, okay? That's all. Thanks very much. Uh, it was a pleasure. And see you soon for another fragrance review. Bye-bye.